Welcome to Food Hacks, where we provide simple and innovative ways to up your skills in the kitchen. I'm Claire Lower, and today I'll be showing you how to turn a squeaky piece of cheese into a melty and delicious waffle. You may have thought waffle irons were just for waffles, but you would be wrong. But before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe to Lifehacker's YouTube channel, and drop a comment below if you've got any food hacks of your own you'd like to share with the class. So why would someone want to waffle cheese? Well, for starters, it turns something that's cold into something that's hot and delicious. It melts the cheese and it forms a nice crispy layer on the outside. If you're working with a cheese like brie, you're basically making baked brie, except for with these cool crosshatch patterns on the top. When choosing a cheese to waffle, you basically have two options. You either want something that's hard and squeaky and low moisture, like bread cheese, paneer, or halloumi, or you want something with a rind, like brie. If you're going with a rind cheese, make sure you don't get something that's too weepy. If it's running everywhere at room temperature, it's going to ruin your waffle maker. My personal favorite though, that would be halloumi. It's delightfully squeaky, it browns really nicely, and you can top it with a lot of really nice ingredients. To make a cheese waffle, you will need two things, a waffle iron and cheese. Set your waffle iron to medium, open it up, take a couple pieces of cheese, close it, and press down kind of firmly. The amount of time you leave your cheese in the waffle iron will depend on the kind of cheese you're using, so keep an eye on it. I like to check after a minute or so. You can see we're getting there, but we're not quite there yet. So I'm gonna close it back up. And just keep checking every 30 seconds to a minute until it's, you know, browned and melty and smells good. Kind of sounds like it's squealing in pain. But that's just moisture, leaving the cheese. Ooh, now that's, that's exactly what we want. To remove the cheese, I like to use chopsticks just because they won't scratch the non-stick finish of your waffle maker. And it's, you know, helpful for getting in those little grooves. So just transfer your cheese to a plate. Turn your waffle maker off. So it doesn't keep burning things. And then for halloumi, I like to finish it with a little honey. Drizzle it on there. Because I like salty and sweet in one bite. And for texture, a few pistachios. And you can crush them if you want, but I kind of like them whole. And now you're ready to eat your waffle cheese, or cheese waffle, however you want to say it. Make sure to stay tuned to Lifehacker for more food hacks and more tips and tricks for doing everything better.